Hello everybody, Bass and Bonsai, finally mission accomplished. We are down on the water. We got rug burn setting up there. Mm, we don't want to talk about rug burn right now, but we are here. We're on the water, uh, wind's blowing that way. It's gonna be coming from the south all day. So we may hit it right off the bat, but I may come up here where there's still a little shaded area. I may jump right up there and uh, do some ultralight BFS fishing with top water, then like little uh, chatter baits and those little uh, jelly bean baits something like that real quick and then we'll come out and uh, hit the rest of the area so anyway buckle up hang on this show starts right now so we're gonna start switching around i need to hurry up and get a bait keeper put on this rod it needs a bait keeper put on it somewhere but just because sometimes the power of a little bright spinner bait can also a little white we got white and chartreuse fill that thing working its magic it's kind of like a is that the Indiana blade I mean it's not a Colorado and it's not the uh, regular willow leaf can definitely I like that thump and fill it you know not as much as a chatterbait but I can feel it doing its thing and kind of pause it pick it back up feels pretty good I like this little bait I don't even remember which one that is is that a little I don't even know oh that's the z-man yeah that's I like that little bait that's a good little spinner bait like it love it do i want some more of it i don't know it depends depends on if i catch a fish of course i may not be hitting on anything moving today they could be you got to go set it in their face and wiggle wiggle jiggle jiggle it But I do like that little Z-Man bait. It's kind of small. I can feel it working. Bright. I'm gonna get around this other side though. I'm gonna start. Water keeps warming up. It's it was 50.9 when I got here it's 51.6 now like it's already it's on the that was a that's a fish oh I missed it no I got him he coming right at me I got a fish it might be a good one oh that's a nice bass Jesus he come so fast at me that is a giant oh shoot I scared a goose out of there stay on that is a Oh, don't come off. Oh my God, get over here. Oh, come off, did you guys see that bass? I was not ready for that. I was talking about all kinds of other stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, you saw it, it'll be on the footage, but I don't have a pic to show you guys. Oh, I should have reached down and grabbed it. That little thing was had this all twisted up. It holds its shape, but I was not ready for that bass. And he hit so hard and fast and was coming at me. I, I gave him slack right, right off the bat. I didn't really give him slack. He just took it himself. That was awesome. That was about a four pound bass probably. Well, three and a half or four. It wasn't a five, but man, geez. Geez. Got my blood pumping anyway. Ah, uh, I know, I'm a moron. I lost probably the fish of the day, still skunked. I did some switch around. I've always felt like I'm missing something if I don't have a zillion on this uh, 13 fishing rod. This is the first rod I felt the zillion on. I, I was checking out the rod and they had the zillion up at Rogers, if you guys don't know the story. And I put the, you know, I was like, let me see that zillion. I put it on there trying to see how they balance with the reel. I'm like, man, this just feels good. So what I've done, I took the time out. I switched the line from the uh, 
all the bearing, put it on the zillion, put the zillion on the 13 fishing rod. I'm going to throw a chatterbait briefly right here where we just uh, missed the big one, but then I'm going to put that spinnerbait, hang on a second, right back on that 13 fishing setup, just because I don't feel that the, uh, you know, that the zillion only had 10 pound test on it and it was on that six foot rod. And I, I felt part of that, the shortness of the six foot uh, didn't help me in dealing with that fish. So although I like the shorter rods, and especially, you know, ultralight, I like real short, light and whatever. But when you get into normal size baits, I do like at least six, I don't know, six foot, six or seven, eight to 10, somewhere in that area. It's just, I like that length. I don't like longer just because it adds more weight and all that. And you don't give, doesn't give you any more leverage if anything gives a fish. But sometimes you do need, I don't know, I just, I don't, that six foot rod i tried to like it it's it's not bad for like jerk baits just the way it is in a little boat but it's it's missing something right so anyway that's what i did and that's what we're going to do you're going back on the chest and we're going to catch another we're going to catch you guys tell me what you thought that fish weighed that fish it wasn't a monster it was a giant it was a nice bass definitely i needed to kiss that bass and i needed to but would have been nice to get it on in the boat in a pick, but it was nice. Got my blood pumping. I'm not cold, chilly at all. I'm like fired up. We're ready to go. We're not on fire yet, but we could be any time here. Let's go. Okay. I don't know what you're thinking. First thing you're thinking is put the spinnerbait back on, dummy. No. I'm just going to try this. I've rigged up that spinnerbait and this at the same time, thinking one or the other or both would work. And the second thing you're probably thinking is that is god awful, ugly looking purple gold on a silver and black rod but we don't care fish don't care but i just wanted to because i thought if anything this bank and even over off the dam that possibly would be where we would get some hits so i'm just going to try this i know i'm a chatterbait person over a spinnerbait this year could be the year of the spinner baits for me who knows i've definitely got en enough in that box that i hardly ever use so we're coming at a little bit of a different angle and this just feels good that right there and i still may put a wood you know me i may put a cork handle on this rod but this rod for these half ounce baits it just fling get it out there i got 15 pound test you know I'm ready for big fish with like this setup like this. The Aldebaran, it, well, it's a slower reel, the 50, not the uh, uh, HG or XG or nothing. Got a fish. Could be another big, oh, it's a, oh! <sighs> How did I miss that dude? What am I doing? They're, is it me? Is it their mouths? But you guys just witnessed that. Lost another fish. That is a new bait, new sharp hook. Still don't know how that guy came off. I've been struggling with hookups for some reason. Huh. I don't know. My mojo's off. Two hits, two missed fish. Had them on. The big dude, I know for sure, it was just the fact I couldn't, the way he hit it. You know, I could put the spinner bait on the, because uh, I have this six foot seven, I have the six foot eight feeling rod, which I think is a stout enough rod to set the hook, and it's got a little give to it. I might do that. Leave this rigged up. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I don't know. Heck, I don't know what to think now. I know what to think. Throw the worm real quick just to see. Right? Throw the get a fish in this boat. Park the struggle bus and get a bass in this 
bass baby boat that's what i'm saying like like get over yourself and just get a bass in this boat right you guys know the deal oh that see that that thing did not i could tell it didn't engage i just let off and push it again and it engaged got to fix that reel got to fix my hook set evidently got to fix this joker reel feeling rod i fixed i actually i like i, I don't know I, I think i like it just the way it is right there All right, there's a piece of wood right there. I'm going to throw this worm one more time, then I'm going to actually take this off. But I think I'm going to switch colors and worms, too. I'll probably just go with the... Something a little more... Maybe, because I got a white worm. I think white. So far, we, our two fish have come on basically white baits, right? So I do have a white, uh, I think with like silver fleck zinkers, I'll probably rig up. But not right now. Right now, I'm going to throw this. I know what you guys are thinking. I think, though, that that's a sharp hook. I know back in the day, I wouldn't have a problem. Because it may not be the hook sets. It may be the... How long is that on that rod? Got dirt on it. I'm not sure what it is. Got that fish. That was... It. Now let's see if we can keep this one on. The old joker, get in here. Get over here. Whoa! drag may be a touch loose but finally look at that white devil tell how dirty the water is right by how white that bass is that is a largemouth bass that is every bit the color of stripers right white bass and striped bass well, look at that get he's as white as my seat is is he a jumper we sure he is let's get back at it well Went to a softer rod than both of those, but a, a little bit longer, six foot eight. Managed to pull one in. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep working this bank until there's no more bank to work. I feel I've covered every inch of it. And then we're basically gonna do the same thing on the Cause this is the old dam and then the the dam now will probably go down and do the same thing so awesome didn't get skunked missed the big one but we're ready right now this is the joker 10 pound test just like i had on the zillion on that other but only a six foot rod the feeling rod should uh, kind of—it it doesn't give me more leverage. It just gives—it gives a little more give in between the, uh, you know, the, me and the fish, right? There's more of a bow, more of a to where it can't just shake free. This guy just looks like he would work in this water. He just looks like he'd work. Right? Got a fish. <laughs> he just first cast. And that drag seems loose, but this is a light BFS rod. That is a little bitty guy. Get in here. I ain't gonna Okay, we caught him. Now we're gonna let him microwave. Alright. First cast. That bait I threw yesterday. And I don't think I had a hit. I caught him on two other colors, but not that color. Look at that little white devil. Do I even want a pick of that? I guess I should get a pick. So, I'm going to put this in both videos. We threw that other Proberos. This, I think, is a Proberos. It's not named Proberos. I think it's the same bait as the Proberos. First cast, put it on. I know it's not a giant, but that is a largemouth bass, my friends. 
It's not a white bass or a striper. So yeah, we may be onto something. A little bit of white is all right. He's nothing to write home about. Wee! But he is definitely a jumper. Wow, do you guys see him jump in the water? All right, let's go. Let's. This little bait got me fired up now. First cast. Giant largemouth bass. I mean, whoa. Wow. Is that, oh, I almost thought I had one on the second cast. Got a fish. That drag is too loose. A fish. Drag is way too loose for a 10 pound test, but does manage to get him in the boat. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Finally, a bait catches uh, more than one. We, we are definitely not skunked. We are not on anything big. We've missed our big fish of the day. I'm almost positive now. I haven't even tried this yet. But sometimes everything just wants a pink TRD. Like right there. I got a fish I wasn't even trying. First cast. First cast, I was actually looking back at the depth finder thinking I should throw the pink TRD behind me and I went to reel it up and had a fish. So yeah, I rigged it up first thing this morning, first time I threw it at 11.36. So from 8.30 to 11.30, just setting a boat. The power of a TRD. Boom. All right, boys and girls. Folks at home. Ladies and gentlemen, you've just witnessed fishing with bubble gum. I should put together a video. Comment if you guys want me to. Oh, that cast sucked. I'll put together uh, fishing with jelly beans and bubble gum. I'll fish those little bitty 16th ounce cranks with some TRDs and just see what I can do. Jelly beans and bubble gum. White rattle trap. Not fish of the day like the other one. He may be our fish of the day right now, but I don't, well, I can't tell now. Now, I was gonna say, it's got the wind and everything else going at me. But yes, we are, where'd you guys go? We are more or less on them now. Catching fish here and there. Right? Awesome. Awesome time to be alive. Am I right, boys and girls? Of course I am. Every time's a good time to be alive. All right. Got a pick? Got a jumper? Whee! Sure we do. Oh, man, he just splashed the heck out of my boat. Get out of there. I better get this boat rearranged. But that... Z Man, I don't forget what they even call their spinner baits for that little spinner bait. So far, that I'm not even sure if I've ever thrown it or how many times, but it, in this uh, nasty water, I know I use the word nasty a lot, but in this nasty water, it is so far the ticket. Every time I cast, whoa into like a strong wind i think about the one post i saw a guy comment you know about how you can't cast uh bait casters into the wind why you don't use them and i'm like dude i don't know if i'm just a mild wind i'm talking this 10 15 20 mile an hour wind you can cast right into the wind you may not be able to cast a spinner bait 
this quarter ounce with a 15 pound test with a big old heavy spool but you can take longer gear and stuff to set up right you're not going to get the distance but you can't get that good a distance with spinning gear in anything you know strong winds fish? No. Grass. so i don't know i just i get why people dog bait casting gear until you get the feel of it and how to use it and the whole backlashing thing is a nightmare but with the, almost all the reels and especially i would put Daiwa above them all as far as how some of these are just the ease of casting or most of your bfs stuff will cast lighter stuff i mean i've taught noah several other kids uh, olivia i mean uh how to use a bait caster in no time at all and you're gonna backlash if you use a bait caster plain and simple it's gonna happen it's like a bicycle you ride a bicycle you're gonna fall off you're gonna crash the bicycle just knowing how to get a backlash out or how to have the thing set to where it won't backlash bad if and when it does okay we are in we're on, we're on the dam now we're on the dam we're where we originally set out here to be like a long time ago okay i just had fish of the day and it was a stick but i was going to leave the footage but i looked i'd been recording for like way too long to try to save that so anyway yeah, I, there's a stump thing down there that I, for a split second, because I was moving the boat, and it felt like it was pulling, and it took me, I admit, longer than it should have to realize that that was a stick. But it was a big stick. <laughs> so anyway, I caught, that, I caught that, I think that was probably it right there. It was right in that spot. So anyway, we're kind of in the middle. There's a spillway deal. We're kind of in the middle of the dam. Nothing down that way, not a hit on anything. I tried a lot of stuff. There's a fish. There's a fish for sure, 100%. 100% fish. <laughs> right in about the same spot I pulled that big thing up. Anyway, so I decided I need to just slow down, get in the middle out here and kind of, and look at the color, see that? We should have got a pick, but oh well. If I catch one again on this, I will. But man, the it's like I find something that works, and I kind of didn't take long to think that. Well, I, 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 the you know by looking at the bass and the fact that we caught the one on the you know the big fish of the day was on that white and chartreuse spinner bait, but the like chartreuse baits I was trying weren't doing anything that it was the white is what the fish was keying in on so I think that's helped I've got you know we've got some fish in the boat but I think maybe like always when the bite's tough find your color zinkers and try to put some more fish in the boat kind of thing So when I'm dealing with wind, I don't like to be sideways at all, uh, either throwing directly into or with the wind to help keep that line tight when you're fishing on bottom, especially with the lighter baits. But anyway, we're going to see what goes on. We can put a few more bass in this boat. We've got about three hours to fish uh, left. Got here at 8.30, it's 12.15. I don't even know how many fish we've caught. Not a bad day, I mean, it's a tough time and bite kind of deal, so. The water has been warming up all day, 53 degrees. Now I have to leave about three o'clock. I still gotta take Noah home. Uh, me and Valencia are supposed to go to the gym, that kind of deal, so I, I can't just fish till like oh, there's a hit. There's another one. They're low, maybe loaded up right there. Little guy. Oh. So anyway, I can't just like fish till dark and it's Sunday. I wish this was Saturday. But I'm not getting a pick of that guy. Wee. 
So I spooked it. I didn't save the footage like I mentioned, but somewhere right in that area, I had, a, I'm not kidding you, a big log. I pulled it up to the boat, got unhooked from it, and that area is still kind of hot. Setting down, just playing around, I got a fish. First cast, switch back. I actually, funny story, I don't know if the footage made it or not, but I started with this worm and I decided to just put it back on because we're going to make our final push for the last bass of the day, right? A showstopper. These little white devils I've been catching all day are unfortunately not it. So, Let me get a pick. Although we've caught several bass today, we have not caught anything. Look how little that dude is. Oh, we he did a backflip. Right now, there ain't nothing hit. So we're gonna go with this little dude. I think any bass to be caught will probably come on this little dude here. And I do have the other one within reach. I can just reach down and grab the original Perberos one I had, that yellow one, because that might be the one. I got a, nope, it's this one. <laughs> That might be the one we need, but it is this one. We have a showstopper. I cannot tell. He's not big, but he is a showstopper, boys and girls. And I knew once I come up around this wood. We hit this first thing with, uh, with, oh, don't come off. You're the showstopper. Get, oh boy, get over here. Do not break my favorite rod. There it is. That simple. Look for a showstopper. Guess what? Get a showstopper. Hang on, let me get him. Oh boy, the showstopper put a sh stop to me fishing because I can't get him unhooked. And I was just talking about how sharp these hooks are. And he had all three of those rear trebles in him. There's two out. Nope, one back in. Jesus. All right, boys and girls, there it is. Showstopper bass, give it a kiss. Extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Woo, he's a kisser. What are the odds that we actually do have a jumper today? I know, I call them jumpers and I give them the old wee, but what if we actually have a jumper on our hands? Right? Anybody? Somebody? Want to take a bet? Let's see. Largemouth bass jump in five, four, three, two, one! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! That, my friends, in case you're wondering, is how you do it. Scott Martin ain't got nothing on me on fish release. Hey anyway, guys, hope you liked that video. It was kind of a tough day, had fun overall, still working on a few things, you know, we're all works in progress, especially that truck, rug burn. <sighs> Get out, go bass bonsai for yourself, but whatever you do, make sure you have fun doing it. See you later. But that was, if I do say so myself, one of my best uh, outros ever right of course it was timed the bass jump perfectly